Hey, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Get ready. Today we're going to mask and splatter. So it might be a little messy. We'll start over in Design Space, so let's make our way over. As you saw on the front of the card, and as we talked about before, I splattered this. Therefore, I needed to first put my image on the card front, and then secondly, I needed to make a mask for that. So let's go ahead and look at the digi that I'm working with from Oddball Art Company. This is Sassy Unicorn Painting Pumpkins. He's kind of a cutie, isn't he? So I decided instead of using, and I'm gonna make this a little larger so you can actually really see here, the sentiment is here with the little unicorn and pumpkin. It says, you are my pumpkin. However, I chose to do something different. I chose to put that on the inside of my card instead. Now, I have watermarked this just to protect the artist. So obviously, if you buy this, the Oddball Art Company will not be on there. And it will turn out looking a little clearer like this because when I went in and watermarked this before importing it into my Cricut program, it sort of distorted the uh, verbiage up here a little bit. So this is what it will actually look like right here without the Oddball Art Company on it. The first thing I needed to do was separate my image from my sentiment. To do that, I went over to Shapes, which is over here on the left side of your Cricut Design mat, and I left clicked. I'll be honest, you can pull up any shape you like. Um, you could pull up this um, hexagon, you could pull up the pentagon, you could pull up a circle. I'm just going to pull a square. I'm pretty traditional about that. I lay it right over the part that I want to slice out. That will separate this from this. If I put the square right here, select them both, and now I come over to the right hand panels section and there's a slice feature. I left click with my mouse. I take this away. I take this away. And now these are two separate pieces. Isn't that fun? Sort of gives you a whole new way of using your digital stamps in Cricut Design Space. You can slice things out if you don't want them or if you want to use them somewhere else. Or if you want to have your My Pumpkin, see, I could lay this just over this part of it and I could slice that apart. I'll show you. Slice. So then I could move this up to the top of my card, this down to the bottom. All right, so there are lots of ways you can use that. I'm just going to delete all of this because we don't need that anymore. So we can come over here to the panels section and just click delete or you can click delete on your keyboard. So now I need to bring in a shape, a square. I'm going to go ahead and make this piece right here. So I'm going to move these out of the way for a moment gonna bring this in I'm gonna size it to about 3.75 this is the sheet that's going to go on the inside of my card with my sentiment so that when the recipient opens the card this is what they see and I'm gonna make it 3.75 by 5 I'm going to come over here to the operation button here it's a basic cut I would like it white so I click my white square I now come over, grab this with my mouse. I am going to right click. I'm going to bring it to the front. Put it anywhere on here you like. 
I'm going to select them both by left clicking and dragging over. I'm going to come to align. I'm just going to hit the center button. And now there it is right in the middle. Now I could make this bigger if I wanted. And again, just reselect, align, center. So that is ready to roll now. Oh, not quite yet. I'm sorry. We still have to flatten it. So while they're both selected, I hit flatten. Now it's ready to print and cut. So we'll move that off to the side. And we've made this piece so I can move that off to the side. And remember, when you print this at home, it's going to be much clearer. It's going to look like this, not like, like that. All right. Now we have this piece. Again, I bring in a shape by left clicking. I normally do my card fronts unless I want a lot of background to show. I usually do them um, four by five and a quarter. So width four, height 5.25. I'm typing this in on my keyboard. I'm going to come back again to basic operations here. It's a basic cut. It's going to be white. I'm going to bring him to the front by right clicking, bring to front. He's a little big for my taste right there. So I'm going to size him down. I can put him wherever I want. I can even have him hang off the card a little bit if I want. And I'm just going to wait. I have one thing to do before I go ahead and turn him into a print and cut. I need to copy him. So once I have the size exactly where I want it, I'm going to select him and duplicate him. Move him off. Now I can select both and come over into my layers panel, flatten, and he is now this piece right here, the print and cut. We'll move him off to the right. This is the piece that we copied. We want to turn that into a mask because we're going to take this mask and we're going to put it over our image before we splatter. So I am going to come in and I'm going to turn him into a mask. Right now he is a print then cut in this operation. I'm going to left click, turn it into a basic cut. There it is. Ready to mask. So I can set that aside. So now we have our mask ready. You're probably thinking, what is this piece? Well, this piece, I'll bring it to the front. I decided I wanted to have a, um, when I splattered, I wanted to splatter the inside of the card also. So I laid this on top and splattered all around the sentiment. So I cut this piece just out of paper uh, and laid it on there. And you will see that later in the video. So we'll push that to the side. The only thing left is I put these little paint brushes on. Now, did you know that Cricut has digis you can color? They certainly do. And here's one right here. Again, I've watermarked it to protect this because this is not a free image. I have um, Cricut access, so I pay a monthly subscription. Therefore, I have access to lots and lots of images. So to protect that, I just simply put Cricut across those paint brushes. If you don't know how to search for a specific, um, a specific image, then if you go back and watch any of my Cricut videos, it, it's probably there. So I won't even go into that here because that's really not what this is about. But what I did here is I picked out those paint brushes and you can see the lines through it. If I bring it over here 
and so you can see the purple through it. This is just simply a, it's truly a print and cut. I mean, you've got to put it on something and print it. So therefore, in order to make that work, you're going to need to offset it. Or you can just put it right onto that paper, hit flatten, and then color it and cut it out. But why would you do that if you want it separate when you have this offset feature? So here it is. You've selected it, you click offset, and there's your offset. You can make this whatever size you like. You can click to the right on your keyboard, your arrows, or you can just drag it here. See how my little hand is going back and forth and it's making that bigger and smaller? So um, I usually can't get it to the size that I like with my mouse. So I use my arrows on my keyboard like so and you can make it whatever size you like. I'm gonna make it um, five, six, and I'm going to hit apply. I don't want the holes in it, so I'm going to remove this. I'm going to select this image. I'm going to come to my uh, contour. Oh, I need, I'm sorry, I need to turn this into a basic cut. Now it is a basic cut. I just did this under the operation. Now you'll notice that this lit up. I can now use my contour. Hit contour. I wanna hide all contours. X. Move this back to the front. And you're thinking, well, that didn't do any good. Not while this is black, it doesn't. So we're gonna change this to white. And now we have it. Again, you can select both, hit a line, center, come over to your panels, flatten. I'll move this just so you can see it. And there it is. So now you can color that. You can leave it black and white. You can do whatever you want. And now that's ready for your little paint brushes to put on there. So you can splatter that paint all over. I have taken out all of the pieces that we are not going to print or cut with our Cricut. I've taken away the back piece because I'm going to cut that with just a paper slicer. And I've taken away all the other uh, pieces that we made just to demonstrate. I'm going to hit make it. I'm going to put it on a mat. My mat size is 12 by 12. It really doesn't matter. These are the pieces that are going to print and cut right here. So I say continue. I send a printer. I go ahead and hit print. And then I cut that. Now again, we have to pretend that we've already printed and we've cut this page it's done now we've moved on to this page which are my masks and i want to cut those masks out of sticky note type paper which um, i'm going to link what that is that i use it's a, a mailing tape is what it is And I'm going to go to sticky note because that is really the thickness and consistency of that paper. So I'm going to click sticky note, but possibly you don't have sticky note in your favorites. So you're going to go to browse all materials. I left click and all I have to do is type in here sticky note. I hit return on my keyboard. There's one result for sticky note. I click it and I hit done. Now I'm ready to meet you at the craft table and show you what we've come up with. Here we are looking at the mask that we cut out of our little unicorn as well as the front of the unicorn card. Carefully remove the pieces of the tape that you don't need and then really carefully remove that mask from your Cricut mat. 
I place it over the card, lining up the edges as carefully as I can to keep it just as clean as I can because I want to cover up as much of the image. Now I've got three bottles of re inker from Close to My Heart. I've got a, a red color, a yellow color, and a green color. They're all, I'm sure, retired by now. The Blick paint, I will put in the box below exactly what kind that is, but it has a metallic sort of sheen to it, so it sort of, uh, sort of sparkles a little bit. So when you add the re -inker, it doesn't lose that. Now this spray bottle is just filled with water, and that is a bottle that actually had cleaning solution for eyeglasses, but we used it all, so I just washed it and filled it with water, and it works perfectly up here in the craft room. I'm adding just a few drops, and I mean just a few, like two or three drops to each little paint pile. And then one at a time, I go ahead and sort of uh, mix them up and then start the splatter process. Now, if you've never splatter painted, this is really easy. You just hang the paintbrush over what you want to paint, tap it, and it just splatters on. Make sure you clean your brush between the colors. All right, here we are. We're removing the masks. Now remember, this first mask was just a piece of rectangle paper that I just laid on there. But you can sort of see the shimmer right there on the paint. Now the fun part. We're going to remove the mask from our little unicorn. Be sure you do this, you know, somewhat carefully, uh, just in case some of the paint... I've never had this happen, but I've heard people talk about the paint sort of drying and being stuck between the mat, you know, like it covers part of the mat and part of the card. So you just want to be careful and not rip anything. And there he is. There's the little unicorn, all ready to color. Now I went ahead and colored him up with Copics and uh, along with the little paint brushes. Then I came back and I matted with a piece of green cardstock. You can see I just kind of hold it all under my left hand there and I just use my um, tape gun and just tape it in place. Now it's time to tape in the insert and I always just eyeball that. I don't do any measuring, but you certainly can if you like to measure. Here I'm coming in with 3D tape and putting it on my paintbrush. I'm just cutting teeny tiny little strips and filling that out. And you know what? That brings us to the end of another Scrappy Horses project. Any comments or questions, please leave them in the box below. I'm more than happy to address those. And as always, I wish you a great week and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.